Um, we had one more question from Joel. His Instagram handle is at Joel Julden <laughs> underscore <laughs> underscore ID. Sorry, Joel. <laughs> I have no clue. What that is. Uh, Joel says, "What do you guys wish that you had done differently from the start?" Um, and which are the most common mistakes that new students usually make? And I, I think Joel's alluding to what you wish you had done differently from the start of your uh, college experience. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Or maybe earlier, but I yeah. think start of understanding what industrial design was. Right. Well, it's funny because I didn't start out college in industrial design. He so I out. wish that I had started college in industrial design. <laughs> As a filmmaker. Right? Yeah. Actually, I think that there were a lot of valuable lessons in in what I did before I entered into design. But I think, um, I think one of the things that I would have done differently uh, is just be, is try to be more open. Mm. Like, I found this in a lot of, um sort of uh chapters in my life is it it's often it, it's often a little bit of a struggle um for me to kind of push back or push down these preconceived ideas that I have about certain things okay in order to grow and mature like you know I remember uh my first art class in high school and this was an art major and they taught continuous line drawing. And I was like, what is this? Like, I know how to draw. I don't need to do this. This is ridiculous. But later on, I figured out how valuable it was. And now right. I incorporate that into my design That's process. Your whole sketching style. Yeah. yeah. Um, I remember in design, like when I was doing the transfer studio, I kind of thought that I knew what I was doing. And then... It, it suddenly hit me that I had no idea what I was doing. Yeah. Because it was a completely different way of thinking. Um, and I, I just, I, I think, my, like, being more open to, to the lessons and not also feeling this pressure that I have to know exactly what I'm doing from the start. That, right. That there's, there's, you're in school, so there's an openness of exploration yeah i think that's great advice james i i kind of like echo that to some degree i think the thing i wish i would have done at the beginning is maybe well i wish i started instagram like as when it came out well when did it come out oh i don't know really early but i it you know i don't think i started it too late i also don't think it's too late if you're just starting one Mm -hmm. for, for one um but i guess my Obviously, we can't go back in time, and my advice is obviously null. You guys can't start an Instagram now because it's whatever. I mean, you can. What I'm saying is, like, experiment. Yes. Um, really try new things. Really try to do something that no one's really doing right now. I think it's so funny that, like, people will come and say, like, oh, Instagram. I want to start a design on Instagram and start posting sketches. And I'm like, that's awesome. Yeah, I completely support you, but like make it your own. Like experiment, try new things. I I think it's it's every time I hear the saturation thing, and it happens a lot. Like people will say, "Oh, I don't want to start a podcast. The podcast atmosphere is so saturated. There's a gazillion podcasts. Obviously, yeah. no one will listen. To me. Like, who cares? Go do it. Experiment. Maybe you can make some other element that's completely new. Right. And the, I forgot to mention this in the weekly updates. I'm doing this right now on Instagram. Like, it's so funny that people are like, oh, yeah, every, the Instagram community is so saturated. No one sees my sketches anymore. Well, yeah, you're not doing anything new. <laughs> like, li- listen, like what I'm doing right now, I am building some sort of contraption so that I can do a time lapse of me sketching on the go, like walking around. So you see my sketchbook being static, like, you know, it's attached to my phone. Yeah. So I'm sketching, but I'm like walking around. Right. Um, I guess by the time this airs, I'll have already done it. But we're recording before the print's done. Right. But yeah, that's that's my prototype. 
that I'm working on. Like, yeah. guys, it's so easy to do something different. Like, there's you're a designer. Apply your apply your design methodologies to every aspect of your life, not just design. Right. I don't know. That that's my that was my soapbox. Really yeah. Quick. No, that's interesting. I I've also well I I don't know. Uh, if you've noticed, but I've also been kind of rebranding my Instagram. Yeah, you've added more graphical elements to it. Yeah, kind of like almost a mini portfolio to say. Yeah, I mean, I I think um, I don't know. It's it's so funny to me. I think that like uh, when I get a low like count on something, uh, because essentially like since I've been posting these new formats, I've been getting like three hundred likes, which essentially equates to like a pat on the back and like nice try um so 300 like, 300 is low for you 300 okay. is low for me and uh yeah that sounds really egotistical right there um but but you know to me it's like i don't know something feels right about this and i want to see it through yeah you know i want to figure it out and see it through yeah and I, that's that's that that's that kind of being open mm-hmm. like uh, you know, it's. I, I think yeah. I think our our advice is the same. I mean, yours is being open, and mine is experiment. But they're almost one and the same, right? Um, and and yeah, I think. I mean, that was a great question, Joel. I, I mean, hopefully you can implement that into, or hopefully anyone can implement that into their life right now. It doesn't have to be because you're a student or whatever. Right, right. I feel like I'm constantly relearning the lessons that i learned as a student i also here's another thing i we're, we're kind of going long but i i also think that if you aren't trying new things and experimenting all the time then you aren't moving forward right like if you aren't actively pushing yourself farther and farther then you're falling behind there's no standing still there's no like being consistent and like i'm gonna sketch the same thing every day for 365 days like right okay Sure, you'll get you'll get to a certain point, and everyone will give you a clap on their hands. But guess what? Three years down the road, you're still sketching that same like thing on the on your sketchbook, or whatever. It's, yeah, it's gonna be old. Yeah, you gotta keep pushing yourself and making new things. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Thanks, Joel, for sending that. That was a tirade, Nick. Uh, Stop screaming. <laughs> Stop yelling. Um, 